Ryan, after a game like last night, when you go back to the hotel, what do you reflect on the most of what happens? You know what? Uh, I ended up watching the whole inning last night on my iPad when I got back to the hotel and just kind of wanted to run through it. And, you know, just kind of seeing what I was going through, you know, during the inning and just reflecting on, you know, it hurts, man. That was, it was a tough game. It hurt, you know. And to, to perhaps a pitch like he did and then, you know, he scored a couple runs late to kind of give us a cushion and then and then it just all unfolds in the ninth. It's just, it's hard, you know. It's baseball, but it, it's tough, you know. It was, it was tough to go to sleep last night. So when you watched that, what stood out the most to you? Was it the Moss at bat? Was it the Hosmer at bat? Was it something else? I think it was more the the Moss at bat. Um, you know, Hosmer battled me too, and, and I ended up getting him out, so I think that's why the Moss at bat kind of stays in my mind, you know. And, and looking back on it, I, you know, I, a lot of my pitches were up in the zone. Not, I didn't have my good sharp slider that I, I wanted to throw, and I kept trying to throw it and finish them off, and I just couldn't get there. I was overthrowing a little bit, and uh, you know, ended up walking them. And, and you know, that was the key point of the inning, and that, that one just kind of sticks in my head. I, I kind of wish, looking back on it now, obviously it's easy to say, but I kind of wish I'd have thrown them something else. Maybe even kind of, you know, maybe my slower breaking ball, try to flip one in there, kind of catch them off balance or something, just to give them a different look. But easy to say that now. So. Did you realize you were overthrowing when you were on the mound, or was it not until after when you finally watched the video? Uh, you know, I, I felt it a little bit just because my command was a little bit off during the game. I kept telling myself to stay calm, just could stay nice and easy. But, you know, that's when I really saw it. After, afterwards, looking at the video, that's when I really noticed it. What's the biggest learning experience from something like that? Having gone through the situation, dealt with the ups and downs, of uh, going up and down, and then the ninth, what do you take the most out of that? Experience, you know, I, I think it's a uh, you got to gain experience, you know, being in that situation and just kind of slowing things down. And, and you know, it was a little bit different feeling last night, um, you know, just pitching the ninth, close, trying to close the game out. You know, that's the hardest outs to get in baseball, the last three. And, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of being in that situation and getting familiar with it um, and treating it like the seventh or eighth inning, you know, and that's, that's what I need to do. Um, instead of overthrowing, you stay nice and easy and just command the ball. Ryan, as always, appreciate the time. Thanks, man. No problem.